olden times. That's the BYU look. Thursday night, new unis. And a new coach for Washington, Rick Neuheisel. Second quarter, BYU down seven zip. Kevin Federick out of shotgun and launching it out for Jonathan Pittman. 16 yards and in. PAT good. 7 7 game. Second quarter, Federick to margin hooks. Five yards and in. PAT blocked. BYU up 13 to 7. Federick 21 to 29 in the first half. Third quarter, Washington trying to get back in it. Jared Lee matched up man to man with Todd Elstrom, but Lee's coming. Marcus Tuyasasopo reads it, hits his man, and Elstrom's got 36 yard touchdown. PAT good, BYU by six. Still a six point game in the fourth quarter. Federick in the shotgun, picked off. Anthony Von Tour, reverse skate. Weebles wobble, but they won't fall down to the BYU 11 finally. Federick's only pick of the game. The ensuing possession for Washington, it's fourth and two now from the three. To Yasisopo, the option will keep it. PAT good. And Rick Neuheisel might have a win in his first game for the Huskies, up by a single point. Two minutes to go, fourth and 10 BYU. Federick to Ben Horton. The first down, the drive still going. The pass interference play on Washington, and Federick moving down the field, looking for Chris Hale. He found him, he knows him, their teammates. 38 yard play, BYU 35 to 28. Federick's good or something, 39 of 59. The game winning touchdown, part of a 500 yard pass. QB Joey Hamilton failing in the last three games against Florida State to finish. First quarter, no score. Peter Wark lining up under center. You are looking at some of his 167 total yards. Touchdown, 7 0 Knowles. Second quarter, 21 14 FSU. Joe Hamilton looking for Kelly Campbell. Good look. 56 yards later on the slant, it's a touchdown. Campbell, seven catches, 141 yards. We are tied at 21, and Hamilton was pleased with the effort. Early third quarter, 28 21 FSU. Chris Winky, pump fake. Again goes to Warwick. Winky, 16 29, 262 yards. It's 35 21 FSU. Late fourth quarter, 41 28 Florida State. The Yellow Jackets won't go away. Hamilton, corner route to Kelly Campbell. Oh, oh. great catch. Take another look. Hamilton was 22 of 25, 387 yards. The lead is just six, 41-35. So Georgia Tech goes for the onside kick. But Travis Miner, a major play, covers up. And despite a great effort from Hamilton, who stayed in the game, Florida State stayed around to win, 41-35. In defeat, Hamilton completed his last 14 throws. To Penn State in a dogfight with Pittsburgh. Nittany Lion, LeVar Arrington would figure large in the first. Greg DeBolt punting. Arrington, a tad excessive with the blocking, draws an unnecessary roughness penalty. And then Panther teammate DJ Dinkins comes to DeBolt's aid, and Arrington takes a swing at him. Two personal fouls on one play for Arrington. Fourth quarter. Penn State only leading by seven. John Turman goes deep. Penn State goes for the ball. Julius Dixon gets the ball. 42 yard touchdown. Tied at 17 with only four and a half minutes left. Turman, 316 yards passing. Penn State would answer. Kevin Thompson looking for Eddie Drummond. 51 yards later, they hook up on a great sliding grab. Drummond had 115 yards receiving. A field goal made it 2017. But Pitt has Pittsburgh has one last chance. Nick Lotz, no! Of all people, LeVar Arrington sticks a mitt out there and blocks it. And Arrington is pumped, running to the sidelines. Later said, if Pittsburgh didn't make this a statement about being a rivalry, then I don't know what a rivalry is. As Penn State hangs on 2017, it's the seventh straight loss to Penn State. Next version of that Cleveland. Bob looking on, looking to hand Ohio State a loss in their home opener. First quarter scoreless. Look at this. Drew Bennett passing, tipped by two Buckeye defenders on the back of Freddie Mitchell. Matt Stanley, Columbus, Columbus area native, picks it up and takes it 67 yards for the score. 7 0 UCLA. Second quarter, 10 0 Bruins. But not for long. Michael Wiley, three yards for the score. He had 119 yards and two scores. Buckeyes leave the half 21-10. Then fourth quarter, Steve Belisari dropping back, looking for Reggie Germany. 35-yard reception, 159 yards passing for Belisari. First time in 27 games, UCLA didn't score at least 24 points. This was just a fourth night game in Ohio Stadium, 78 seasons. Banging the drum quickly against Notre Dame. Third quarter, after a Boilermaker touchdown, it's 2016, going for two, and Drew Brees helicopter me. 22-16 Boilermakers, now late fourth, Notre Dame, third nine, Jarius Jackson. Oh, what a pick. 
by Mike Rose. The interception, Purdue takes over. Very next play, first and 10 from the 47. Pump fake and go. Randall Lane knocked out at the 12, a 40-yard strike. Two plays later, third and 10 from the ND 13. Breeze, shotgun formation, looking, looking, look out. Lamont Bryant, Purdue gets a field goal, however, and they're up five, which means Notre Dame needs a touchdown on the field goal to win. 102 left. Jackson to Joey Goodspeed. Gets hit, fumbles into the end zone. Jabari Holloway recovers, but it is ruled that good speed was down, and the replay shows it appears to be a good call. Notre Dame anxiously waits. They call a timeout. They have plenty of time to prepare their next play. 16 seconds to go. Time for two plays, really, but it looks like they botched this one. Jackson is sacked. And now we have pandemonium. Irish try to get the line called. Get up, get up, hurry up. You see the time in your TV set? Three, two, one. Forget about it. It's over. The Irish botch the end of the game for the second straight week. They lose in disappointing fashion. The coaches can't believe it. the Irish are one and two. Their next five games are at South Bend, starting with Michigan State next week. That's Florida. First and 20 from the Central 31, early second quarter. The Gators, Doug Johnson, looking for Travis Taylor. Beautiful dish. Third touchdown for Taylor of the game. Johnson, 15 of 23 for 271. Here pitching to Robert Gillespie. He scores. Gators get seven touchdowns before halftime, although their defense did give up 379 passing yards. Fifth rank Michigan home to Rice. Austin, mini me in the spring would make me tournaments. Second quarter, Michigan up 13 0. Yankee farmhand, Drew Henson. David Terrell for the score. Henson, 8 for 14 to 109. Travis Hale, no. Blocked by Marquise Walker. Michigan recovers. Michigan ball at the Rice four. Very next play, Tom Brady, the other Michigan quarterback, handing to Anthony Thomas. What a beautiful day on Ann Arbor. 87 yards for Thomas. Michigan rolls. They're 2 0. They go to Syracuse next Saturday before beginning their Big Ten play in Wisconsin on the 25th. Rice at Michigan Stadium. Ron Dane continues his run towards Ricky Williams. Coach Barry Alvarez returns. Injured knee, Davis. but he's on the sideline. And Michigan's up 5 0 and Davis. receiving a punt after that safety. Nick Davis. Davis Weaving, stumbling, 77 yards for the touchdown. 12 0 Badgers. Third quarter, Wisconsin up 29 7. Ron Dane, one of his 31 carries. Wisconsin wins 158 yards for Dane. Needs 1,424 in Wisconsin's nine games to break Rookie Williams' NCAA career rushing home to Cal. Nearing the end of the first quarter, Nebraska threatening, no score. Bobby Newcomb, 12-yard option keeper. Nebraska goes up 7-0. Second quarter, Nebraska leading 21-0. Newcomb finds backup QB Eric Crouch right there. Crouch flies down the middle, 60 yards for the score. Nebraska goes up 28-0. They go on to win 45-0. Crouch became the first Nebraska player since Johnny Rogers in 1973 in the Orange Bowl to run for a touchdown, pass for a touchdown, and catch a touchdown in the same game. Nebraska has beaten Iowa and Cal by a combined score of 87-7. Number 15, Arizona, home to Middle Tennessee. First quarter, Arizona up 7-0. David Lowe punched to Middle Tennessee, for Middle Tennessee. Dennis Northcutt picks up the bouncy ball. Tight ropes down the sideline. Somehow he stays in bounds, 80 yards. Arizona up 14-0. Second quarter, still 14-0. Arizona at the eight. Ortiz Jenkins scores. Arizona led 34-0 after three. They cruise to a 34 at night. A mascot change. Ugga five to Ugga six. His son. He's got a collar and Quincy Carter's got a football and he knows what to do with it. Second quarter to Terrence Edwards, the younger brother of Robert Edwards, who of course has that knee injury recovering from for the Patriots. 14-0 dogs. Fourth quarter, 17-3 Carter. Jasper Sanks. And if your name is Jasper Sanks, you can only play in the SEC. 24-3 at that point and the Bulls Bulldogs going to win 24 to 9. Sanks a career high 130. Toby Bounton looking for win number one. First quarter, Clemson up seven. Brandon Streeter fakes to Travis Zachary and then finds Pat Sergalis, who's in for the touchdown. 14 0 after the 15 yard strike. Second quarter now. Clemson now up 17 0. Virginia driving. Thomas Jones takes the handoff. It's stripped. And watch Braxton Williams. 
Unbelievable effort to keep it in bounds as Clemson recovers and goes on to pound Virginia. The final 33 to 14. Brandon said as is Rutgers quarterback Mike McMahon who got hit. Oh, and oh, and oh, parents wanting their children to play quarterback should not have watched this. First quarter, Texas up 7-3. Major Applewhite avoids the sack and finds Mike Jones in the end zone. Touchdown. 28-yard touchdown pass for Major Applewhite. One of the great names in college football. As Texas wins 38-21, Applewhite 19-32, 244 yards and two scores. But you have to see it to believe it. Baylor and UNLV. The Baylor mascot getting frisky, as was coach Kevin Steele. He has a three-point lead, less than 20 seconds left. Take an E, they win the game. Instead, he tries to score. Says he wanted to establish a winning program. Obviously, this is not what he had in mind. Daryl Bush fumbles. Kevin Thomas goes 99 yards the other way. UNL Wave wins. 20 More college football. Miami of Ohio at West Virginia. Miami quarterback Mike Bath hits Trevor Gaylor, who makes a quick pass to Travis Prentice. 81 yards. Prentice also rushed for 163 yards, but it wasn't enough. Look at Jerry Porter, momentarily trapped in the huge rectangle. Hurdles to center on the PAT. Blocks it, and West Virginia is going to be a winner, 43 to 27. UConn at Kentucky. They belong to Dusty Bonner. Looking right, now looking left, now looking right. Dusty's looking everywhere. Finds Anthony White. Fourth TD pass of the game. He sets a school record with 16 straight completions. Kentucky wins big. New Hampshire and UMass. Whiplash offense. Mark Whipple's UMass Minutemen. It's Todd Bankhead, the All-American quarterback, to Adrian Zulo, and Zulo goes all the way, and UMass is a winner, 34-19, defending one AA national champions.